Hi, welcome back to ingvid.com. I'm Adam. Today's lesson is a bit of a strange lesson. I'm going to tell you something that you can't actually learn. Well, you can learn it, there's just no rules for it. I'm talking about specifically some prefixes. Dis, an, in, im, il, ir, non. Okay? First of all, let's review a little bit. What is a prefix? A prefix is a little part of a word that comes before the main word. It can come before an adjective, before an adverb, before a noun, before a verb. Like anything that comes before a word, and especially before a root of a word. We're going to look at an example of that very soon. So, I was asked specifically to talk about these prefixes. All of them basically mean not. Okay? They negate the word they are added to. Now, generally speaking, you can find specific little subtle differences between all of them. For example, this means more like be a part of or away from, separate. Cells are the smallest living units of an organism. All cells have three things in common, no matter what type of cell they are. All cells have a cell membrane, which separates the inside of the cell from its environment, cytoplasm, which is a jelly-like fluid, and DNA, which is the cell's genetic material. There are two broad categories of cells. The first category is eukaryotic cells. They have organelles, which include the nucleus and other special parts. Eukaryotic cells are more advanced, complex cells, such as those found in plants and animals. The second category is prokaryotic cells. They don't have a nucleus or membrane-enclosed organelles. They do have genetic material but it's not contained within a nucleus. Prokaryotic cells are always one-celled or unicellular. 